hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com my name is jason newland and this is relaxation hypnosis for stress anxiety and panic attacks please only listen when you can safely close your eyes and my website uh, on there you've got you can download you've got all my recordings you can download and stream all of my recordings and it's all organized into podcasts so it's all very simple no adverts on there at all at the time of this recording and if you'd like you can if you want to uh, send a paypal gift the links on my website and i also have a, a wish list an amazon wish list if you would like to buy me a book yay thank you it's all there it's all there if you'd like to do that right as you're You'll be aware if you listen to this podcast regularly. I do various different things. One of the th- what I like to do like exercises as well as long relaxation sessions, um, and also kind of sleep relaxation sessions as well. So this is going to be, I guess, almost. A meditative trance um, thingy. So it's very uh, vague, I know. But may, basically, what it's going to be is I'm going to ask you to stand or sit in front of a mirror. Okay, just look at yourself and repeat these well they're affirmations and someone you might say well that's not hypnosis well a very famous hypnotist a French hypnotist is the person who uh, pretty much invented the affirmation the idea of is kind of a, a self hypnosis technique where by repeating something over and over again it sinks into your unconscious mind and becomes part of you uh, so that is the technique basically an affirmation is that he you could say technically he didn't invent it in a sense of affirmations uh, in a form of chanting uh, in uh, has been used in you know in religions for thousands of years so and you could also say that it's a lot of chanting would be reading out scriptures out loud and that is the way in the past a long time ago that the word of you know various religions were passed on orally and then eventually they started to get written down so this is not a history lesson <laughs> because I don't know enough about it to give you a history lesson but in the context of hypnosis the idea is by saying something to yourself whether it's out loud or internally it has an effect in fact it can't not have an effect because we're already doing this you're already doing this I'm already doing this it's just unfortunately the affirmations so let's move remove the word affirmations to the 
things that we say to ourselves possibly aren't helpful. They may be negative. They may not all be negative. I hope that's the case. I hope that you are saying positive things to yourself. But regardless of that, this is a time to start saying more positive things to yourself. So you may never have thought about doing that before. But now, if you make that decision right now with me, that from now on you will start to focus on positive thoughts. And I'm not talking about made up, uh, you know, bullshitting ourselves. I'm not talking about that. I'm not, you know... I can say I'm six foot three as often as I like. I'm still going to be five foot eight. Well, probably shrinking as I, as I get older. I'll probably end up being about five foot six by the time I'm 70. I can say that I've got a full head of hair, but the fact is, I'm balding. So it's not about lying. Or saying something that isn't going to happen. Or can't possibly happen. But that's only... There's only a small amount of things... That are definitely not going to be able to change. Although, in a sense, you know, hair... You can have a hair transplant. But forgetting all that stuff. There's certain things... That maybe it's really worth accepting. You know, I accept the height I am. I accept that I'm never going to look like Brad Pitt. I don't actually want to. Yeah, okay, I do. But forgetting that. So this is more about how you feel about yourself. It's about positivity. And, you know, I've been studying positivity. I've been studying that stuff for 20 years, pretty much. And for a long time, I really believed it was just a bunch of crap. And the reason I believed that, because I thought it was being false. I didn't believe all of it was crap. I just believed. I felt that a lot of it seemed very false. Like to, to tell yourself something that isn't true. And it's never going to be true. But that's. I got it wrong. That's not what it's about. That was my error. That was my error in judgment. I didn't understand what I was learning. The simple fact is positive thinking is, from one angle, it's just reducing your negative thinking. That's the most important part. Reducing your negative thinking. And then increasing your positive thinking. By positive thinking, it can be as simple as, I'm going to be okay. I deserve to be happy. I'm a good person. I'm a decent person. I'm good at, you can fill the gap in, we're all good at something. Some people are good at playing chess. Some people are good at singing. Some people are good at building websites. Some people are good at gardening. Good at all kinds of things. Everyone's got strengths. 
and abilities. And even though some of those strengths and abilities may not seem at all valid for your day to day life, because you may think, well, okay, I'm good at decorating, I'm good at DIY. What's that got to do with relationships? What's that got to do with uh, my mental health? What's that got to do with um, feeling positive about my life? Well, when you're focusing positively on something, you're not focusing negatively. Because you can't do both at the same time. It's an impossibility. You can't have a hot bath and a cold bath at the same time. It's got to be one or the other. Can't have both. It's physically impossible. And it's physically, emotionally, mentally impossible to have a positive and a negative thought at the same time of course one can follow the other but at, in that moment you can only have one type of thought so when you're feeling positive and you're reminding yourself of what you're good at something that you've been successful in you're therefore not focusing on the things that you perhaps don't like about yourself or the things that you wish were different. Now, wishing, for, wishing things were different isn't negative, necessarily. It depends how you present it to yourself. See, I could think to myself, I wish that yeah, I could say I wish that I was fitter. Wish I was, you know, fitter and slimmer. And think, well, I could get to the gym. I could, or I could do some sit-ups. I've got a sit-up bench over there. I've got a punch bag. I can exercise. I've got the room to do it. Which is a positive way of thinking. I'd like to make changes. Or I can think, I'm just a fat pig. I'm obese, I'm disgusting, you know, I wish I was slimmer, I'm so fat and horrible, and so it's still the same thing, but negative, instead of positive, I'm not saying anything you don't already know, so I don't, it's just a point I'm making, is just by a small, small change, in focus you can feel different you can feel positive about something that maybe you were feeling negative about before see right now you can feel positive about increasing your positivity and decreasing your negativity You can feel positive about that. And I think I used to connect the word positive with almost forcing myself to think something that I didn't really believe. And it's it's not really that. I guess it can, it could be but I don't think it really can work like that. It needs to be something that you want to do. You need to want to feel positive, to feel more positive and to embrace that side of yourself. And I can tell you and you can read as many books as you want on the subject. 
and it'll all tell you the same thing really that you know by feeling positive you will feel happier you'll feel you know less positive of course and what you think affects how you feel and how you feel you can feel amazing by thinking positively and the more positive you think the more positive you become in your outlook towards the future and towards what's going on now you'll hear that and you'll read that in any positive book but they also will say you need to do the work but it's not really work if you want to do it you know going to the gym isn't really hard for those that really want to go to the gym it could be you know this for myself going back to when I was younger I used to love going to the gym I'd look forward to it it wasn't a task it wasn't difficult uh, it was you know it wasn't always easy when I was there but going I'd look forward to it so if you enjoy doing something and you want to do it it's not going to be difficult and it will be positive and the outcome will be positive so when your target is actually based on positivity itself it can only really be approached with positivity which is a damn good start it's an amazing start because by deciding that you're going to start to focus more on the pos positive aspects of your life by making that decision you're already flooding your brain and your body, everything with positivity. So it's, it's a brilliant start. And feeling positive isn't something new. It's not something that you need to learn because you already know how to do it. It's no different to, it's like me trying to teach you how to breathe or how to eat or how to go to the toilet. Like the natural processes are there to feel positive. Just as the natural processes are there to feel negative as well. I mean, there's no point like pretending that negativity doesn't exist because it you know, technically, in the same sense of positivity it does, it has to, because it's the opposite. So the affirmations, really, is, it's very simple. As I said, you can look in the mirror, you can sit down, stand up, you don't have to go into the bathroom. You can just look at yourself in your phone if you want. Or, you know, stick it on the camera. However you want to do it, it's, it's not really, it doesn't really matter. In fact, you don't even need to look at yourself in the mirror. You can just talk to yourself. But sometimes it's fun to start out by looking in the mirror. Because when you take yourself away from your normal activity... You're almost setting up a space. You're doing something different. And because it's different, it sticks in your memory. It creates a new neural pathway. A bit bigger than perhaps it would do if you did this sitting in front of the television. So by going into the bathroom or into your hallway or wherever there's a mirror. 
sitting down or standing up and looking at yourself and saying something positive to yourself it may be the first time you've ever done it therefore it creates a new pathway because it's new it's something that is novel it's a novelty it's something quite special about it it's also kind of silly as well it can feel a bit silly you know talking to yourself in the mirror like what's going on here it can see it can seem a bit funny a bit silly but in a in a nice way it's in a yeah it's it's quite nice so in a humorous way like what am I doing here talking to myself in the mirror but the fact is you know what you're doing because you're purposely doing it you've taken that those few minutes out of your day to do this so all I would say is you can choose whatever it is that you want to say to yourself But an example could be something like From now on I will feel more relaxed Or from now on I feel More relaxed Or I feel more confident I am more confident so I know that this podcast you know the title is relaxation for stress and anxiety but all part of that is confidence self esteem all those things that by increasing your confidence and your self esteem reduces anxiety you know there's so many things connected to it so it's not just about or you know feeling relaxed there's lots of other things that are connected that can help you to feel more relaxed confidence is definitely one of those things to be confident in your own skin to be confident that you are just as important as everybody else that your voice and what you say is as important as everybody it's just as valid as anybody else no one else is more important than you no one else is less important than you you are a worthwhile person and your voice deserves to be heard Even if it's only you that hears it. Remember that what you say to yourself is really important and affects how you feel. It affects your mental states. So even if you say something negative towards yourself out loud to another person the more often you do it the more your unconscious mind accepts those negative words as fact when they're not So the more, I suppose, ingrained, the more, you know, the more negative stuff that's inside you, that you've been just going through life automatically accepting these negative thoughts about yourself that may 
and probably a lot of them have come from outside from other people people putting you down people being negative and sometimes people do say things they don't mean it they really don't mean it horribly and there's the old saying isn't it oh, you, you take things to heart and that does that resonates with me in a sense is someone that takes things to heart they hear something and it goes straight in there's no there's no part of them there's no barrier there's no stopping those words nothing to say wait a minute I'm not that that's your opinion it's not fact which is something that will start to happen more and more because once you notice negative thoughts, negative words, whether you say them or someone else says them to you, you start to notice it. And it just... Something happens. Something happens in your mind at that moment where... It's almost you saying, no, wait a minute, no. And you don't have to verbally say no to the person, but you can say to yourself, no, I'm not allowing that in. That negativity that they've just said, even if it's not aimed at you personally, it could be a generalisation. But you can think, uh, no, actually, no. I don't agree with that. That's not going into my brain. I'm not allowing that negativity inside me. Just because somebody's chucked in a throwaway line. Something ignorant or rude or... They might just be saying it for the sake of it might even be a joke well that may say something about you to you and again it might not have been meant in a harmful way if you hear it too often if you hear negativity too often or if you say negative things to yourself too often it will sink inside and it will have potentially a huge effect negative effect on your mind on your brain on your thoughts on your life and on your health on your behavior on your relationships on your decision making This is serious stuff, really. You know, I don't generally get too serious with stuff, with recordings I make. But this is very serious in a sense of if someone gets told something negative over and over and over and over again, then their self-esteem starts to reduce and almost vanish eventually if it's really negative and it's our job to protect ourselves it's your job to protect yourself from that it's your job to decide That being positive, it's not about new age thinking. It's not about, it's nothing religious about it. There's nothing weird about it. It's about taking care of yourself. It's about self-preservation. It's about... 
is among the most important things that you can do in your life for your own well-being is to increase your positivity your positive thoughts and to decrease the negative thinking for your well-being So it's not a fad, it's not a, like a bit of fun technique in a sense, you know, it's not, uh, I would say it's not even optional, it's something that you have to do, don't have to do any exercises, but for your health, for your mental health, for your well-being, your emotional health and for all the other parts of your life that require you to be mentally well, healthy, happy, positivity can be the key to feeling happier to feeling more relaxed, to feeling more confident, to have that self-esteem, to be able to make decisions confidently, to realise that you are as important as everybody else. that you have a voice and to listen to your own voice and to make a choice a decision to consciously focus on feeling more positive focusing on those positive thoughts about yourself and noticing the negative thinking so that you can let it go you can nip it in the bud you can question the thinking you know, is this real? Is this is this true? Do I really believe this? Whatever it may be. So doing the affirmations isn't necessarily about telling yourself that you're going to be rich or that you're going to be the best ballet dancer or, you know, I'm not assuming that people who are ballet dancers are listening to this. That's an example. So whatever it is that you would like to do in the future, it's not necessarily about that. It's about feeling better about yourself. It's about improving your mental health. And I know that, you know, a lot of positivity has sometimes the focus on, you know, you can be whatever you want to be, you can do whatever you want to do just need to be positive and you can get what you want in life now I'm focusing more on getting in touch with the reality with real I like real 
the truth. The truth is, you do deserve to be happy. The truth is, you can enjoy your life by focusing more on the positive things, not just the positive things about yourself, but also the positive things in life. And sometimes, you know, it's easier to find examples of negativity because that's what's presented to us constantly on television, radio, newspapers, the internet. Yet there is so many, so many positive things out there. Billions, billions of positive things. So it might take a little bit of searching, but it's all there. So much positivity. So many positive stories. But maybe reminding yourself that things are going to be okay that you will feel more relaxed as every day that passes you can feel more relaxed and you can and it works in different ways I mean there's when you're thinking to yourself or saying out loud in the mirror I'm going to feel more relaxed today I'm going to feel more relaxed tomorrow. I'm going to feel more relaxed today. I'm going to notice when I'm feeling relaxed. You know, saying things like that to yourself. By doing it over and over again, and I'm not talking for hours and hours, just maybe five minutes looking at yourself you can say I feel more relaxed because the reality is once you're standing there or sitting there looking in the mirror saying I feel more relaxed you will very likely feel more relaxed so you're giving yourself the suggestion to feel more relaxed in that moment so you could say self-hypnosis you're giving yourself the suggestion to feel more relaxed there and then and the more often you do that the stronger that connection builds the stronger and wider that neural pathway becomes so that you can go from whatever, whatever, however you're thinking, to feeling relaxed. Very easy, very quickly and naturally. It's almost like it happens automatically. And there's the long term benefits because the more you do this, the more you notice that you're feeling relaxed. And therefore, the more you expect to feel relaxed in the future. And when you start to expect to feel relaxed in the future, that again is a hugely positive thinking process. And it goes on and on. 
and the process has already started. The process has already started. I mean, just by listening to this recording, you you give permission, you give yourself permission to let go of negativity and to spend a bit of time with me, listening to me, rabbiting on and on about feeling more positive, about feeling more relaxed. And the more time you spend focusing on the positive things, that negativity that you know may want your attention starts to give up. It's like, well, I can't be bothered anymore because you're giving all your attention to your favourite. It's almost like, you know, you've got your favourite child now. Your favourite child is going to be positivity. And the other child is just like, oh, I can't be bothered now. Of course, no one has favourite children. We all love them the same. But when you don't give the attention to negativity, it starts to melt away. Because the only energy it has, just like with positivity, is the energy you give it. It's nothing without you. You are the positivity. It doesn't exist outside of you. So I'll leave you with that. Something that you can do if you choose to do so. To do that exercise. And even if you choose not to do the exercise in the mirror. You've already started the process of feeling curious about what benefits you are going to gain from feeling more positive in the future and starting to notice how you just you feel more relaxed and comfortable in your own skin. Feel more able to deal with stuff that maybe maybe you struggled with in the past. Things seem to flow. more naturally and there's there's a sense of relief that can come from letting go of the negativity and to just focus on the positivity because you're no longer juggling it's much easier just to hold one ball in your hand than to try and juggle two balls. Just by holding the one ball, you're focusing just on the one ball. And eventually... You don't even need to hold it anymore because it's in your mind. It's almost like learning a telephone number. You 
you know, I've got a telephone number from years ago. A friend of mine, I used to phone. This is when landlines were the thing. And it's still in my memory, even now, from 30 years ago. Now I know maybe people don't learn telephone numbers the way they used to have to. Um, with mobiles and stuff, and I know I don't. But there's certain things that we remember that we don't need a piece of paper to remind us of. It's there etched in our brain, in our memory. And noticing how relaxed, how much more relaxed you feel tomorrow the next day, and the next day. It's something that will be practically impossible not to notice. It becomes so obvious that you're focusing on positive things. Do you allow the simple fact that you are an amazing person and you deserve all the happiness that you are going to experience? And you can enjoy knowing that you have consciously decided to let go of that negativity and embrace the positivity of being you. The only you that exists. There's no one else on the planet like you you're a one off and you're amazing now I'm going to bring this recording to an end but the feeling of comfort relaxation positivity will continue So remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love.